Hi, my name is Jatiera Fuller, and welcome to another episode of 23 and Graduated. Going into my freshman year, college was such an impactful time of my life. Freshman year was so interesting because you coming from being a senior and you like the top dog on campus and then you get to freshman where you're like a scrub. Um, it was really interesting to me because I didn't know anyone. I didn't know where anything was. So it was like a difficult time because I had to get to know my whole self again. And then when I got into sophomore year, I got a little bit better. I knew the campus. I felt like, you know, I was good to go. But a lot of the things that I did in college was work. Like I spent my freshman, sophomore, and some of my junior year working. It wasn't until the second semester of my junior year where I actually gained a social life, where I started to go to events. Like I started to meet people from clubs and I started to do stuff that was actually fun instead of just working and going to school. And in junior year was also the time where I figured out what I wanted to do or where I wanted to be. That's when I decided to go into human development. And I already knew that I wanted to um, major or minor in Africana studies, but I finally figured out the whole grand epiphany that who I wanted to be. And senior year was amazing, beyond amazing, because not only was I doing really good in school, passing all the uh, classes that I needed to do, getting straight A's, um, but senior year was also the time when I decided to run to be Miss Compton. Um, I would decide to be in a beauty pageant, so that was pretty cool. And it was kind of difficult juggling being in a pageant, schoolwork, plus work, plus family. Um, a lot of people felt that I didn't have time for them, but it was just like the highlight of my entire college career because I learned so much about myself. I learned what I wanted and what I didn't want, so that was pretty awesome. January 11, 2011 was one of the most difficult and painful days of my entire college career. On January 11, 2011, I was at work like any other normal day. And I got a phone call saying that my stepbrother was in a motorcycle accident. Now, my brother, I've, you know, heard close calls before, so I didn't panic. I, you know, told my job I was leaving and I was going to the hospital because that's where he was. And they said, before I got there, they said he's in critical condition. I still didn't panic because I felt that my brother is strong. He can get through anything. He can, he'll, he'll wake up. It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal that he's in critical condition. And so we get there and they say they're going to pull the plug. And my heart just broke. I, I couldn't really, I couldn't really grasp the concept that they were telling me. Like the fact that they were telling me my brother was not going to wake up anymore and he was gone, that hurt me to the core. I did not want to do anything. I didn't want to eat, I didn't want to sleep, I didn't want to go to school, I didn't want to do anything. I was just so in turmoil and I didn't know how I could continue on. And so, after he passed away, I took like not very much time off school, a week, a week and a half that two weeks I didn't go to classes or anything. And the depression and the sadness that I had, I just put it into my work and I just tried even harder because I knew now that I didn't want to just coast through college. In college, they tell you if you get a C, it's OK, it's cool. Um, so I knew I didn't want to do that anymore. I knew because of him and because of his legacy that I wanted to be the best that I could be. And so the fact that he wasn't there anymore hurt me so much, but I used that hurt to continue to push me to be as successful as I am today. Taking into account the fact that I lost my brother and all of the pressure from my family to become the first person to graduate, I graduated from college. Graduating from college was not just a simple piece of paper. It wasn't so that I can make more money or get a better job. It was because I knew my family was counting on me to change what we've been doing for the past few years. The whole point of me going to college and graduating is so that I can show the upcoming generation that you don't have to be in the streets. You don't have to be 
getting fast money. It may take me longer to get where I need to be, but it can be done. That's the whole reason for me even going to college so that I can impact everybody that I come in contact with and to let people know college graduates are not just broke and just helpless people. They become successful and it causes longevity. So for me, graduating from college was just amazing. And the fact that I can impact younger generations was just the whole basis for me even going. You can do it. I need you to know that you can do. You can, whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. You can accomplish it. When times get hard, when you feel like giving up, when you feel like there's no one in your corner, when you feel like there's nobody, um, your cheerleaders, you be your own cheerleader. You do what you want to do and you succeed because what you do today is going to structure what happens in the future. You are the next generation and you can achieve all your goals. You just need to put your heart and soul into it and put your mind to it. You can be who you want to be. Skip the introduction, pardon interruption, blowing up, combustion, building myself up like I'm constructing. Yeah. Biggest thing that you ever seen, have you ever seen? A young nip tugging 